Are you afraid of the dark? Don't worry, you're not alone. We humans are diurnal, meaning we prefer to live our lives in the daylight. Then when the sun sets, we snuggle up and snore our way through the night to avoid the terrors it contains. But what if instead of shrinking from the darkness, we embraced it? What if humans were nocturnal? The fact that we wake in the morning and go to bed in the evening actually makes us a little bit odd compared with the other creatures as 70% of mammals are nocturnal. And scientists have found that our modern way of life is forcing animals to be more active at night as they fight to fit in on the planet we dominate. So could we just throw in the towel, turn our schedules upside down and start living our lives at night? Well, yes, but not without making some pretty intense changes to our biology. In nature, there are a lot of adaptations that have evolved over the millennia to allow animals to survive when there's little light to see by. We'd have to follow in their footsteps. One solution would be to develop gigantic eyes, which can soak up as much light as possible. Of course, we'd have to make some sacrifices to accommodate these much bigger peepers in our head. The Tarsia is a nocturnal primate with eyes as big as its brain. For humans, that would be equivalent to having eyes that weigh 1.4 kilograms each, rather than just 7.5 grams at the moment. And just like the Tarsia's eyes, they'd be too large to be swiveled in the sockets. We'd have to constantly turn our heads to read, or stick to staring at a fixed point on our phones and scrolling, which to be fair is what most people do anyway these days. The other option for nocturnal supremacy would be to scrap our eyes altogether and focus on our hearing, like bats. The night air is filled with the high-frequency calls of these winged wonders, but our ears aren't sensitive enough to pick up the racket they make. To mimic their ability to find their way and detect prey in the dark, we'd need dumbo-sized ears with an entirely different internal structure. We'd also need highly strung vocal cords and a mechanism to stop us deafening ourselves with our own screeching. Like bats, the only answer might be to flap our arms wildly and scream constantly in huge groups in the dark. Hanging upside down in caves uh, would be optional. Of course, humans have chosen to embrace the night in their own way by going to war with it. Our towns and cities kick out so much light pollution that it is not only visible from space, but is shrouding the stars from view here on Earth. Energy-efficient LED streetlights are messing with birds and insects, disturbing their natural rhythms and creating a man-made problem to which the only solution would be encouraging everyone to go to bed earlier. If we were better at dealing with darkness, whether thanks to gargantuan eyes or enormous ears, perhaps we'd also be better at sharing the world with other living things. The only downside is that rather than being afraid of the dark, we'd be terrorized by daylight instead. Well, that certainly was fascinating. Did you enjoy that episode? Press the like button if you did. That's what it was made for. Want to see more? What if you clicked subscribe? Oh, and make sure you click on the little bell so you don't miss another video ever again. In fact, we've got a new one coming out every week. So sit back, relax, and prepare your mind for more tantalizing hypotheticals.